How's it going guys? If Adobe and DaVinci both do what I think they're about to do, we're about to see a massive shakeup in video production. I'm talking about something similar to that point in history when the car came along, and then years later, entire industries around horses were completely decimated. Do you guys remember when the company Kodak went bankrupt because the rise of digital photography completely destroyed their business? It's crazy guys, we're gonna see the exact same thing happen, I say in the next three to four years, because AI is literally gonna be replacing one of the most vital pieces of hardware used in video production, and this is how I know. It's because I recently tested a new feature in Adobe and I was completely blown away by the result. And I also had my friend who recently left the Adobe faithful to become a DaVinci disciple to test Resolve's version and I was equally impressed by the results. Even though both outputs weren't perfect, they scared me just how good they were. And guys, unless you've been living underneath a rock, you know that every three to five months, AI features get at least 50% better. And in two years, I feel like it's gonna be just about as good as the real thing. So what the heck am I talking about? I'm talking about the external microphone. And if you haven't noticed, for the last 20 seconds, I haven't been using one. This right here is the in-camera audio, baby. And this is exactly how it sounds in real life. It, it kind of sucks, doesn't it? All right, back to the mic. This is how I'm usually sounding. You guys, we've covered this enhanced speech thing in Adobe a while back. Just about everywhere you look now, depending on the company, you see some version of this incredible enhanced speech feature. I know DaVinci's version, I believe is called Noise Isolation. Even Descript, a company that's been around for like 10 seconds, has something called Studio Audio. Setting that can make your audio sound like you're using like a $250 microphone. It's pretty good. So guys, going back to the title, is Adobe and DaVinci coordinating an attack on our beloved microphones? No, of course not, but I believe that the microphone will indeed be collateral damage in what I'm calling the AI wars. And no, this is not Skynet raining down nuclear missiles down on our heads. This is DaVinci, Adobe, Runway, Apple, Canva, and even Descript competing to create AI features that will make editing accessible to more and more people. And just a quick side note too, editors like me, we've been making VFX and editing more accessible to beginners and non-videographers for literally years now. In fact, our product bundle is just that. We have over 20 packs that will save you hours of editing and keyframing so that you can have beautiful visuals in just minutes. Click the link in the description to get a massive discount on our new bundle. Like seriously, if you don't get it for anything else, get it at least for ePRISM. These digital prism lens filters are amazing. Okay, so that was a quick ad, but back to the main point, what is it that's actually happening? What is Adobe specifically doing? Are you telling me that the professional microphone is about to become obsolete due to these new post-production workflows? Historically, in regard to editing audio, the higher the quality of the inputs, meaning the higher the bitrate in that original audio file, the more flexibility you then had in editing and to improve, isolate, or otherwise tweak that audio. In the future, however, generative AI could change this dynamic by enabling the creation of a superior audio from actually low quality inputs. This is because this new technology would be using the subpar audio merely as a reference point rather than a direct source for editing. Just think how crazy this is. Professional mics will therefore become obsolete. You'll no longer need to spend $600 on the new Sennheiser. You'll simply use your camera scratch audio the next time you need to mic up the president and no one will be the wiser. And guys, while that's great, it sucks because I love my mic and because I don't know what to do with my hands when I speak. So there's that. But it actually gets worse because if you're wondering what other collateral damage the AI wars will inflict on products and brands that we all love, well then check out this next video because it's gonna break your heart. I cried a few tears watching this edit. 